Hey, my beautiful people. Yes, your girl is still here. I've been missing you all. My, 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 my. <laughs> I really have been dying to film for you guys, but there's just there's just been a lot going on, and I kind of had to take a step back from everything. But I'm still here. I'm still gonna be doing videos. I just need you guys to be patient with me. Let me get back into the groove of things. But I figured for my first video back after some time. The best thing to share would be items that I've been picking up over the course of my last video. Let's not speak about when that last video was. <laughs> if you'd like to see more in regards to what I have to share with you, keep on watching. Hey guys i've missed you all so so much honestly there's just been so much going on with me personally i had to kind of take a step back i really really missed filming though like i've been dying to get back into the groove of things i changed jobs there's just been a lot going on personally so like i have a tendency to get like really overwhelmed and i shut down and shut out so i just really needed to kind of take a step back you know and and just kind of get my footing and now i think i'm starting to get back into my footing and i think to start i'm gonna start back filming maybe posting a video once a week for now until i can get back like fully in the groove of everything so i hope that is okay with you guys but i figured for my first video back what a better way than to share some products that i have bought over the time that i've been mia so i want to share these with you guys and depending i might do individual videos for the certain items that i got but i'm just going to showcase like things that i picked up during this time frame and honestly guys like filming can take a lot editing can take a lot but i'm willing to get back into it because i really really miss you guys i really miss doing tutorials tutorials wow and you know just chit chat so here i am guys back <laughs> so i figured i would start with some glitters <laughs> These I got from Glitter Mix Canada. And as usual, we've got a very cute thank you card. Guys, if you were to ask me when I purchased this, I can remember. But I know it's been sitting here for a while in my box to share with you guys. And for this one, I think I purchased... 30 glitters so i will be splitting this video into when i do you know my usual pour and share with you guys and then i still want to do like a swatch of all the glitters that i have for you guys so don't worry i've got some ideas floating around but can we talk about how cute this packaging is it's so adorable i mean like this is packed with glitter and then i even got like a little cute Thank you, glitter, which I think is like always nice. And she included, included some Sour Patch Bunny Gummies. I'm gonna have to hide these for my kids because I swear they behave like I'm not supposed to ever have anything. So these are Sasha's Low Treat. Look, look, guys, look. Oh my god. Ooh, this is really oh my god, this is really bright. Oh my god, it's a good okay guys. You know when you go and you step back from something and you get back into it and then you remember why you love it so much? Like I never forgot why I love doing nails and why I love doing clients' nails and doing my own nails, but it's like yes, I think I needed just a little, you know, pick me up kind of thing. But that's my son. <laughs> if you hear him screaming. I don't know what he's upset about but yes these are all of the glitters that i purchased guys and this is what 30 glitters look like usually i know glitter boutique canada usually has a sale i want to say there's probably one coming up soon because i think it might be around canada day definitely gonna order some more glitters and you guys are probably like why you haven't even touched these ones because i've got problems and i love glitter and you can't go wrong with glitter you can never have too much glitter so guys just you know be on the lookout to see another glitter haul for me okay Ooh, and i picked up these ones for halloween 
because you know what you can never get things too early so that you're prepared but let's just take a look at a few of these like this one is haunted halloween got some cute orange and black ones this one is glowing embers this is a really nice fall halloween one too and then we've got mermaid oh my god look at this I can't wait to pour these and share these with you guys. And this one is a chameleon, blue aqua, so it has like a chameleon shift and tint to it. This one is bubble bath. Oh my god, I have a girlfriend that her favorite color is pink. She loves everything pink, so I know for a fact she's going to adore these. But yes, this is just some of the glitters, and I will definitely be... Um, posting a separate video and doing my usual pour and thoughts on these. Ooh, this is a beautiful gold. Ooh, these ones have like gold shards. Sorry, guys. Oh, and I picked up some of the flash glitters. Like, I've been dying to try some of these. But yeah, anyways, moving on. <laughs> these are all the glitters that I got. Next, I have some of my Swarovski crystals to share with you. Now, as you guys may know, Swarovski is no longer selling like to the general public or to nail techs, period. So they've now come out. There's a new like crystal brand called Persol. Per per I'm not going to try to pronounce it. I will include the name somewhere like on the screen here for you guys. But they're supposed to be really good. Ugly Duckling has their own crystals as well. But as far as I know, you have to be a licensed nail tech. Where I get my crystals from, my genuine Swarovskis, they also still have some left back. I'll have it linked in the box below. But I got 22 crystals. Again, I might do a separate video. And just I'm just doing like a quick run through of some items that I got for you guys so you see what i've been up to but yes you know and you get 30 pieces and i got various sizes like for example i always love to have backups of crystal and crystal ab but this one is um ss20 let me see if i have another crystal ab that i can find or crystal sorry this crystal one is ss9 this one is ss12 so yeah i like to have like a variety but these are all the crystals i got I actually plan on ordering some more in the future too so keep an eye out for that as well so these next items here i did pick up from curated create beauty wow i feel like my first video back and i can't even speak properly but that's okay um i just picked up some staple things like i needed another brush for my gel i've been loving the fusion clear number six Clear Jelly Stamper has come out with their Sticky Clear Stamping Polish. I had taken out the box I wanted to try it. I was having some difficulties, so I need to play around with this a little bit more. I picked up some Operate Gelix Prep for press on nails and for like the Gelix system. I've heard that these are really good to etch your press on nails with and it helps with like the longevity. So I want to try these. Plus my daughter wants me to create a set of like simple star press on for her. So I have to try and do those for her as well picked up another brush i like to use this to get any of the excess dust like when you f when you're doing your nails that might be caught anywhere in this area dust off your hands i like it it is the clear jelly stamper the nail brush and then i've been looking for some new stands or tip holders for when i am doing press-ons and when i'm filming so I actually picked these up as well. I picked up two of these. These are the Ugly Duckling Crystal uh, Tip Nail Displays. Ooh, this is really nice, guys. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that is so stunning wow okay this is really pretty and it looks so nice in videos and it's like it's got a solid weight to it so i gotta make sure i don't drop this i feel like it would break and then you've got five silver tip holders five gold and then 
because I can't get it out. I'm going to take it out this way. Get my little nail stand. I'll fix that after. <laughs> but then you've got this. And this feels weighty. Like, it feels solid like this does. And I just feel like compared to, for example... So the top one I got off of Amazon. And yeah, it's missing a thing. I don't even know what happened. I don't even know where it went. I don't even know how it came off, much less. But I just feel like the Ugly Duckling one is just so much nicer. And I feel like it'll just stand better. And the tips will hold better for this one. Yeah, the magnet on this is really, really strong. Ooh, I love this. Okay. I can't wait to use it. So I picked up two because when I am working on press-ons for customers, I would be able to just do one hand and the other hand instead of having to do this, take these off, put another set of um, tip holders on and work on it. I will have both going at one time. So I'm excited to use this, guys. I want to share some nail addict products that I've been using and really, really love. <laughs> I wanted to try out some of her products. So... She's a black owned nail technician and nail supply shop that actually opened not far from where I live. Perfect for me. I mean, absolutely perfect. I can't go wrong. When I need something quick, I can just run across the street. She's got so many amazing supplies for nail techs alike. I absolutely love it. So I've been wanting to try her gel. I love encapsulating my nails i sometimes do color on top but i prefer to just encapsulate it for me personally when i'm working on clients i will do color on top depending but if it's glitter or stuff like that obviously i will encapsulate it so i've been dying to try her gel i i guess i'm a chronic lifter is that even a thing chronic lifter i don't know anyways I tend to have a lot of lifting sometimes. I don't know why a lot of brands I've tried, I've, I get lifting. I will say this gel has hands down been amazing to me. I have not had lifting and I've done, I want to say three sets on myself using this gel so far. No lifting. Her protein bond, absolutely amazing guys. I'm going to have everything linked down below for you. So. If I could get it open. This is her gel. As you can see, I've been using it. But you get a decent amount. I think I paid $25. can't remember, but let's say $25. And this is her crystal clear. She's got a pink one, I believe, too. But I will link her shop down below for you as well. You can order to have it shipped. And you can order for pickup. And can we just talk about how cute the lid is? i adore it i think it's just so cute and then i got her crystal cement i haven't tried it yet but i heard really good things about it so i want to try it i love trying out different like brands of crystal adhesive that can you know keep your crystals on for long so they're not falling off the glitter mix canada one but i just want to try something different like i just like to play around and try different products try different brands really 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 like hers as well it works really well i actually used it for the foils on this nail set that i did i just wanted something quick and easy i didn't feel like doing anything too too fancy and her protein bond is like amazing i write about now swear buy this thing i've heard people swear by it saying like oh my god it's so amazing so i was like okay let me give it a try definitely making sure i have backups of this i love this she also had this like surprise goodie bag and <laughs> i bought the black one i want to say sometime late last year and i never my daughter opened i don't know why she opened it like again these things are not for you child they're for me but whatever she opened it i haven't actually looked at the stuff and then i bought another one I want to say sometime last month so i figured i would hold off share it with you guys and then you know use the items like i've been hoarding everything <laughs> Ooh.
Ooh, there's some really cute lace images on here. My mom wants me to do her nails and I... She doesn't really have like an design in mind. She's kind of like, oh, do whatever. And now I'm like, hmm, what should I do? I might use an image off of this for my mom's nails, actually. We'll see. And then I have this gel polish. Struggle to open it there. Easy color gel polish by O Star Nails. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm not a fan of yellows. Just me personally, but I'll try it out and see. I got one of these brushes. I personally don't really like these. I find them to be so, they're just so rough and abrasive. But I'm sure I can find something to use for this. I got some foil, honestly. Now that I've been playing with foils, I love them. I think you should all have some foils in your collection. And I'm so glad to add this one. This one is a metallic one. I am not taking all this out because I find these things can be such a pain to put back in. I actually want to see if I can find maybe something at the dollar store where I could store all my nail foils. So I don't have them in these or like, oh, I wish I had the other containers. But I'll link one of my videos where it comes in like a square container and I think you get like eight or f not eight. Sorry, you get ten in total or eight in total. I can't remember. But yes, this is so pretty. This would be really great for fall or even like to do something like this that i did on my nail and winter this blue oh beautiful and then i got some of these crystal container holders so they come apart they're stackable and that's how they open so you just slide it out like so slide it back in I'm not sure what I would put in here yet. I have to think. Maybe some little like um, nail art gems that I may have laying around. I could put that in there. And then I got this cute set of like nail art chains. Ooh, these are really fun. And then I got some nail forms, which in my opinion, you can never have too many. I got a buffing block. I got some dollar nail gems, studs, whatever you want to call them. I haven't a clue <laughs> what these are for, guys. So if you guys know what these are for, let me know. But they're like really squishy. I want to say maybe to put between your toes when you're doing a pedicure. I don't know. But I have these. And then I've got some... Ooh, some flower decals or decals however you want to pronounce them i got some of these i got some crystals these are really pretty i got one of the french smile line cutters i actually never used one of these i also got some chrome this is so beautiful this is like a fuchsia chrome guys i got one of these i have so many of these it's not even funny but like they're really good for like your crystals you can put them in there and then you can use your picker upper tool and you know pick them up apply them onto your nail it's just a nice little area to have you know the items that you're using for the design now you guys know okay purple is my love language it is my favorite color so believe me when I tell you how excited I am to know that I got the purple set. I've actually seen this one and there's different colors in our store. I'm going to take a video next time I go across there. And there's like different colors, different nail art things. Nail technician's dream basically. But to know that I picked the bag that has the purple in it makes me so happy. So it's like some little glitters. I want to say you could possibly even got some different colored glitters. So I'll share these as well. So that's what I got out of the black bag. So this is the pink bag. I, again, haven't opened it. So this is like my first time opening it. I just literally ripped it because I couldn't be bothered to open it nicely. So in this one, I got one of her acrylics. This one is F214. I actually... I know how to do acrylics. I need to practice more with it. I prefer gel personally, but... Ooh, ooh, that's really pretty. <gasps> Christmas, that's... Sorry, guys. Ooh, and even Canada Day. Ooh, 
okay i'll have to play around with this one for you guys at some point too but she has some really nice acrylics too and i got another metallic foil this one is green Ugh, look at how gorgeous that is guys definitely gonna need to get a different container for my foils now that i'm like becoming a foil addict on top of a glitter addict definitely definitely need to get some more this definitely a christmas like hands down not even gonna lie to you <laughs> and then i got this cute glitter kit that comes with all these different glitters so it's just a really nice addition to add to my already growing glitter collection and then i got this really nice tool it's got a small dotting tool on the head and this is like almost one of the ends that i use to pick up my gems and stuff and apply them on the nail got a little pink buffer and then i got some ysl nail charms and then i got one of her pro color gel polishes this one is just chic or chic whichever not a color i'd personally gravitate towards but i will swatch this at some point see how i feel more about it okay guys and the last item that i have to share with you from this haul that i purchased is my order from lula beauty so this is my first time ordering from them they carry clear jelly stamper coco and claire flora nail shop which is uh tilia by tilia's nail tails that is her personal shop as well and they do carry a lot of nail art items nail tech items so i figured that i would give them a try and get some items that i've been eyeing i especially like that i can order my clear jelly stamper items and my clear jelly stamper stamping plates and all of that from them it really makes it easy especially like a one-stop shop especially when i'm looking for certain things i think the packaging is super super cute i got a little lula beauty keychain and it came with a gummy and you guys know i'm gonna eat it i mean i'm gluttonous i know you want to tell you and oh there's a glitter in here too okay so let me just take out everything one time and then we'll look at it wrapping paper was purple Pfft, sold <laughs> i yeah, i'm not gonna lie i i adore the color purple like any shade of purple my favorite okay so as i was saying this is the keychain i'm definitely probably put my keys on it actually because i'm forever just putting them in my pocket and then can't find it and all sorts of foolishness but there's some glitter in here guys glitter glitter And not only that, they sent me a purple, like, it's like she knows me, okay? She knows me without actually knowing me. And on the card, we have this very cute thank you for shopping with us. Enjoy 10% off discount on your next order. And they'd love to see what we create. So hashtag it with Lula Beauty. And then there are their shops on Instagram, TikTok, and and facebook let's get into this this is like oh my heart guys tell me this is not beautiful it's like a sample of glitter and i'm definitely gonna include this in um my glitter haul video that i will be filming eventually and sharing with you guys but oh this it gives me more incentive to shop from them just take my money okay so Coco and Claire has this gel polish kit and this one is interesting because you can actually soak it off by using warm water. So for those of you that know, my mom was sick with cancer a few years back. She's been in recovery for five years, five, six years. Praise the Lord. So she's always want me to do her nails, but she doesn't want to do like hard gel and all of that so when i found out about this kit i said okay i will get it for her and try it never did get a chance finally got the chance so yes i'm gonna use this on my mom once i do i might do a video depending on how my mom feels about it or i'll just take some pictures and i will update you on the wear and longevity but in the kit you get a instructional card 
shows you how to remove the product. And how to apply the product. So you should get at least five to seven days of wear with this, Manny. The thing is, the Coco and Claire colors, because I did also buy a color, because I don't think one came with this one. So, of course, I bought a purple one. But <laughs> I bought a color, but these can also be used, like, over hard gel. Or this Coco and Claire kit comes with five uh, bottles, and each bottle has a name, and it basically is in the order in which you would apply it to the nail. So this one, this is step one, and this is clean. Can we like talk about the packaging though? Like look at how gorgeous these bottles are. I don't know if you guys can see if my camera's gonna play nice, but there's like little gems in the top. I think that's so cute. Okay, it picks it up big better from this angle but yes there are little gems so this one is prep and this one has a different set color of gems in them so basically i like this idea though because this also helps you to identify which is which obviously i'm assuming once you use it often enough you'll be able to remember okay this is step one this is step two blah 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 so even just having these as like identifiers really really good idea this one is step three and that is called weekend base and the little gems in this one are red this one is step four and this is strong and this one is like well <laughs> i'm assuming this is clear i haven't opened them yet but i mean the color in here is like tealy it's a blue. I wouldn't even call this teal. I lied. <laughs> Definitely a blue. And the last one is your shine. And this one is a very nice pink. And I just want to show them to you. Like, you would be able to identify because they're two different colors completely. And it also came with the Coco and Claire Residue Remover. And then the color that I did pick to go along with the kit, because as I said, this kit did not come um, with any color or anything like this. The one that I purchased anyway. This one is this gorgeous purple. I have to open it, guys. I will also swatch this for you in a video. Oh. Oh. It's a bit darker than I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, because I mean, like, look at the color in the lips, Sasha. But for this time of year, I wouldn't reach for this, but fall, winter, you're going to see me going crazy. And this is called Daylily. Very gorgeous color, though. Again, purple steals my heart, if you guys don't know. And the last two items I have to share with you from my Lila Beauty haul is from floral nail shop which again i stated earlier is uh talia nail tales store so she's got a shop and she has some really really nice items in them this is the floral nail art confetti and basically she does a few scoops and sends them to you you don't know what you're getting until you receive them and I've been seeing this all over TikTok, all over Instagram, and I said, okay, I want to see what I'll get. And it's just a fun way to expand your horizons when it comes to nail art because, <laughs> because you don't know what you're going to get. And maybe you get something that you've never tried and it kind of pushes you out of your comfort zone to try it. So I think this was a really great idea as well. Even though I don't know what's inside, I will definitely order another one of these because I just love stuff like this. So, so this is the Flora Nail Art Roller. It comes in this color pink and black and it's basically like a lint roller so for example you have it on your desk like so and when you're doing any stamping let me just well i have to i guess i should open it first so basically you would have it on your desk like so and then for example if you're doing a stamping nailer just like you would use with a lint roller place your stamper on it and continue as you can see i had some like well i don't know if you guys can see it but right in this area there's some like leftover stuff from my stamper and then you know you would just move it around 
clean it off. And then when it's time to change it, find the line, pull it, change it. So I like this instead of a lint roller because I feel like it doesn't take up as much space. And I do like my Clear Jelly Stamper um, sticker pads, but I also kind of like this, so I figured I would give this a try. I will test it out some more and let you guys know what I really think about it, but so far I, I like it. Like it's right there, simple, easy to just push it off to the side, you know, pick up your image, stamp your nail, go slow, and continue. And then when you're finished, you just simply close it. Isn't that cute? Okay, it is time to open the surprise that I don't know what's in here from from the Flora's Nail Art Confetti. Ooh, this is so adorable. Contents are full of sparkle. <laughs> I think that's really cute. And then this I says nail art confetti and it has links to her TikTok and Instagram. And it says that the confetti is always changing and to check back often for unique mixes. Again, why this would be more incentive for me to try this again, because like she said, there's always gonna be something new. Okay, let's see, let's see. Ooh. These are pretty. So these are would be perfect to use. Um, they're mermaid glass beads, hot pink. Would be perfect to use, like for example, when I am doing press-on nails or just doing any type of nail tutorial for you guys and I don't want to use my genuine Swarovskis, I can reach for these. I don't have Swarovskis in this color, but you get the gist of what I'm saying. <laughs> So in this package, you get 10 sizes, and there's 1,440 pieces in total. The sizes are SS2, SS3, SS4, SS5, SS6, SS8, SS10, SS12, 16, and 20. Sorry, it's just really small, guys, but like, look at how gorgeous these are. And then I caught a little stir stick, or stir stool, <laughs> stir tool. And these are great for using like to mix up your gels if you see any type of separation just use it help to blend the color together and then you can apply it i got washable buffers i actually don't own any washable buffers so this is really good i'll definitely be trying these out as well <clears throat> oh i got some more i thought that i was finished so this one is 100 180 so i've got 200 180s oh i have oh they're all 100 180s they're all just different colors sorry guys so i've got five of those <laughs> i got one file 100 100 grit i actually need to get some more files so this is like a perfect reminder for me to go across you and get some more files i am not sure what these would be used for I don't know. If you guys know or think of anything, let me know because I, right now, I don't have any idea what I would use these for. And then I got some striping tape. I have a love-hate relationship with striping tape, honestly. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It can be so finicky, but uh, I'm gonna keep it. I am. We'll probably find something to do with it, too. This is a nail art palette ring. So these are perfect, like, if you do a lot of freehand art or if you're mixing colors or if you're filling in you can actually just dabble some polish acrylic paint here use your brush and then you have it close so it doesn't dry as fast and it's easier access than like for example having maybe like a palette right here so you've got options and i like this it's cute then i also got some silver embellishments which can be used on your nails really really pretty lastly i picked that one i didn't pick up lastly what was included in the glitter confetti are some decals mm. now or decals depending on how you want to call it i only recently really started playing with them i knew how to use them from before i knew they existed i don't know i just never really dabbled in them but since i have i <laughs> kind of want to get more <laughs> so i'm really glad that these came in this um glitter confetti mix that she sent me so I've got a variety of different ones. This one is sunflowers. This one is some hearts. Okay, mommy. 
Yes, I'm okay. These are really cute. These ones are greenery. And if you guys follow Talia and know Talia, you will know that she loves everything greenery. Especially when she's doing any type of floral nail art. So I am not surprised to have this part of my glitter confetti mix. Ooh, these ones are really pretty too. These are like abstract greenery. But the greenery is not green, it's black. <laughs> and it's got like a new life phrase, I live for you. This is really adorable. It's almost like a watercolor background too, if you really think about it. Ooh, this one is pretty too. This one has some roses, some butterflies, some bees. And the color palette is really nice. And that's the other thing with decals or decals, however you pronounce it, depending where you come from. They can be a gateway to a nail design. Maybe, maybe you're sitting there and you're like, I don't know what I want to do on my client. You don't know color scheme, you don't know. You could easily pull your decals or decals, look at them, go with a color scheme, go with a design, and kind of go from there. And speaking of watercolor, Leah also really, really loves doing watercolor. She does some really, really good watercolor nail designs as well. And not surprised to have this in my collection. You can use some of this to do like almost like a splattered nail look. Oh, look at this color palette, guys. And you know I love it because there is some purple. We've got yesterday, now, tomorrow. This you could put on like these two fingers. The flowers you could use. We've got some feathers. Ooh, you know what? See, my mind's already going seeing these images and this color scheme. And the last one is this one. We've got some heart with the drops, the dangling jewelry. Some more butterflies. Again, this is actually a really nice color palette as well. And here we have it for my nail art nail studio haul. So guys, let me know what are your thoughts. So what did you like? What would you like for me to record next? Let me know. I'm definitely going to try to do some nail art tutorials with the items that I got. I'm definitely going to go through and <laughs> share my glitters with you guys. You know I have to do that. I'm also going to do the Swarovskis for you guys. And um, maybe do a few swatches with a few things that I got. But yes that is all for now i've really really missed you guys and i just want to say a big thank you for you guys that have been sticking around with me that have been here with me from day one even if you're new thank you for joining the crew just bear with me guys i swear i'm still here i'm not going anywhere as always guys i will make sure to try and have everything linked down in this the description box for you if you have any comments and or questions please leave them below and i will get back to you as soon as possible Please also don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I do post more content, and you can follow me on my social media links as well. Until next time, stay glamorous.